we use our tech devices at home, work, and even the classroom, which is why we wanted to check out what's new in tech and discuss ways to better manage our devices in 2022. Tech expert Burton Kelso joins us live with his innovative ideas. Welcome back, Burton. Long time no see. I know. Hey, Desiree, I'm ready. <laughs> All righty. <laughs> well, we're talking about our tech devices. They are a part of our everyday lives. And with that comes tons of passwords. But you're saying to ditch the passwords. Can you explain? Yes, passwords usually tie to things that you post on social media. You're using things like kids' names, your mom's maiden name, and probably your birth date or where you went to school. The practice that you want to get into is using passphrases, which are basically two unrelated words that form a strong password. If you need a hint on a passphrase, visit the website useapassphrase.com and you will be able to learn how to create your own passphrase for your own your online accounts. Oh, that's important to know, especially with hackers and stuff like that. I think the more that we can make it challenging to guess people's passphrases is better. And I have, you know, three to four of my old cell phones saved in a bin somewhere, Burton. But should we keep or toss out old tech? It's time to get rid of that old technology, especially with the end of 3G services. Um, if you got an old smartphone or cell phone that's sitting in the drawer, uh, go ahead and take it to um, your favorite recycling center. Those old devices just don't come back to life anymore. Um, if you've got old cords, um, old anything around the house, it's time to just ditch it and just keep your new and current technology. Are you saying my iPhone 5 isn't going to be a collector's item in 2042, Burton? <laughs> It depends on the market, but I would say probably not Desiree. <laughs> okay, good to know. I need to toss them in instead of keeping them around. And kids are just as active and up to date on tech, if not more than adults. How can parents better protect their kids to ensure that they're being safe online? Stop relying on parental control software. The only thing it does is it allows you to set limits when your kids get online, and it also will help with parental guidance as far as downloading apps and programs. At least once a week, parents need to get a hold of their kids' devices to make sure that they're not going where they shouldn't be going on the internet. There's no all-inclusive parental control software, only parents that get in the habit of monitoring what their kids do with their devices. Yeah, we definitely want to keep those kids safe. And what can we all do if we accidentally misplace our device? I've been very guilty of that multiple occasions. So if we misplace it, maybe even in a public place, is there a way we can find our phones? Definitely. I lost my phone in Chicago over the holidays, but I found it, thank goodness, because I turned on Find My Device, which is available for both Apple devices and Android devices. Once you turn this feature on, it uses GPS coordinates to locate your device. If you have an Android watch or an Apple watch, if you leave your, you leave your phone, your watch will alert you that you left your device behind so you can quickly go back and retrieve it. And then just to make sure, so we actually have to kind of turn the feature on. I shouldn't assume that I got my phone. It's just automatically going to find it. We need to turn some type of feature on. Definitely. In both Apple devices and Android devices, just go into settings, uh, locate Find My Device, and switch it on. And it will keep track of your device wherever you are in the world. And it will alert you to all your devices if you happen to leave it behind. Okay, that's good to know. And as much as people enjoy being online, why is it important to unplug from time to time? Technology is addictive and it's designed to be addictive. And so it's important that you take control of your tech time and set limits to when you use your technology. Now, I recommend most evenings if you're home, turn your devices off or set them on the charger. I also recommend to set aside a specific day, like set it down Sunday, to make sure that you're taking that period away from those tech devices and reconnecting with the real world. And make sure your kids do it as well because smaller minds really can't handle the strain of being connected all the time. Yeah, especially with how popular it is to be online right now, I agree. I think it's important to unplug. Some of us wake up and we're already on our phones, go to bed, we're on our phones. So making sure there's time to stop, rest, and enjoy each other. Burton, thank you so much for joining us. To get all your tech tips from the expert, visit BurtonKelso.com.